Hey, boys and girls, it's Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Um, so just like you did yesterday uh, with Shake and Spill 12, you're going to play Shake and Spill 13 today. So it's the exact same game. So instead of having 12, you're going to have 13 red and yellow counters in here, okay? So no, I'll do it real quick because it's just a quick reminder. I'm going to shake them up. I'm going to spill them. All right, and let's see what I get. I'm going to put the red over here and the yellow on the other side. So it looks like I have how many reds? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six reds. And so when you play, you'll do the exact same thing. And I have, I should have seven yellows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> So that way I know that 6 and 7 has to make 13. I know I had 13 in there. So 6 plus 7, right? I know that if I switch these around, if the yellow comes first, it still gives me the same amount of counters. I still have 13, right? So if I have 7 yellow plus the 6 red, that still gives me 13. Okay, I also know that if I take 13 and I take away the red, so if I take away six, I'm left with how many? Seven. So 13 take away the six reds gives me the seven yellows. And if I were to take away the seven yellows, right, so take away the seven yellows, it would give me the six reds. So what I want you to see, boys and girls, is this relationship between addition and subtraction, right? And that you have this fact family where the numbers basically stay the same. You've always got a 6, a 7, and a 13. And they're very interconnected. Okay, boys and girls, so you're going to play this game. Uh, you're going to do it, I think it's 6 or 7 times. Remember, if you shake and spill, and you got like six red and seven yellow again, and you don't want to do it again, that's fine. Just put them back in and try it again, okay? All right, um, have fun, and um, I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.